Okay, hello guys. Can you all hear me well? And can you all see my screen? Yes, nice. <laughs> nice, you can all see my screen. So, good afternoon, Maria. Um, for us, it's a French time, so it's a bit more than good evening, but good morning also to the American uh, audience. Uh, so, do you all know why I'm wearing this cask and the title, why the title of this uh, presentation talk? I hope you all have the reference to that. Please let me know if you don't have it and I will post uh, the, the music, the song. Okay. Thank you, Miles. It's Daft Punk. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you have no idea, Randy. Do you want me to maybe put a bit seconds of the music so we're sure we're all on that same page with the reference? I will do that. <laughs> So enough with this mask because it's really hot inside. <laughs> of it and it's really not comfortable to do this talk. So, um, yes, <laughs> that's the reference of it. <laughs> it's French party time, but it's always party time somewhere on the planet. So uh, I'm whole happy that you joined this session uh, with me today. So I'm Charlotte, I'm from Elements. And so today we will talk about uh, Jira and Confluence. The harder part of it, the better, the faster, and the stronger together uh, of it. So, here is the agenda uh, for the faster part. Uh, we'll do a short introduction about the elements and me, so you you would know a bit more about us. The harder part is the importance of project management. The stronger part, why using Jira and Confluence. And the better together, it's a showtime with a short demo of an app that makes the bridge between the two of them. And at the end, we will have a Q&A session that will be handled with my moderator of the day, Clara. Can you all give her a big shout out because it's her first Atlassian event uh, today. So uh, welcome to the Atlassian uh, ecosystem, Clara, and I'm glad you, that you are my moderator today. So, if I do a fast introduction uh, about me, I'm a marketing and communication fan. I did my study in that field and I work in that field since I graduated. Um, and so I joined uh, Atlassian and the ecosystem um, seven months ago now at Elements. I really like taking up uh, new challenges and see further than my role. So if you have any crazy stories in the uh, ecosystem, I'm always happy to hear about them. I like sharing and learning stories about tech and obviously uh, elements apps. And for fun fact, that, uh, maybe some of you may know in the chat, I practice pool vaulting for more than 15 years now. And for those who are asking the questions to Zanfes, yes, I'm still doing competition. <laughs> so about um, elements. So elements uh, is only a vendor app, only for Atlassian ecosystem. Uh, so it's based in Toulouse and Montreal, where we have uh, Nelly from the support team 
So we are able to give an SLA under eight hours to all of our clients in the world. We uh, won the Code Geist in 2021. And we are the makers of Vertigo SLA that was acquired by Atlassian a few years ago. We are a team uh, around uh, 30 people. We have five apps uh, on the marketplace for the moment, four for Jira and one for Confluence uh, that you can all see on our booth or ask my team, uh, my teammates for demos. And we have more than uh, uh, 3,500 customers in the world that are happy to be with us. So maybe uh, you will be happy to join them. Uh, so, I will start with a question for you guys. Uh, so I hope you are into it. So what do you struggle with the most in project management for the moment? Anyone in the chat? Communications, that's a good one, a really good one. Thank you, Ryan. So if I base the story on Ryan, uh, I do struggle a lot with communication uh, with, uh, with my team in project management. So basically, I was in charge of organizing this whole event. So we created the JIRA board and then we are centralizing information in Confluence into a codex page where we have something like our wiki. So I used to spend a lot of time copy pasting information from Jira to Confluence and backwards because it's really a pain to communicate with all the stakeholders. So that's really not the fun part in project management, but it's really important to master it and to align, yes, align between product team and develop team, it's really important and keep information and the stakeholder on track because they want information somewhere, but they cannot have all the information. So dividing information between Jira and Confluence can sometimes be good. So if I move on, um, having a good, um, Successful organization uh, recognize the importance of effective project management. And project management is the process of planning, organizing, executing, and closing ticket, as one of you said. Um, and it's really important to, ach uh, to achieve a specific objective while balancing the constraint of scope, uh, time, cost, quality, resources, and risk. And Project management is really about driving change and delivering product, uh, results. So it involves bringing together people, processes, and resources to have a concept into a reality or a software if you're in a developer team. So having a good project management is really important to uh, minimize risk for your company, but also to, the, to deliver value to your stakeholder, but also uh, to uh, maximize the efficiency uh, of your uh, team. So today we'll d delve into tools that can help you achieve a successful project execution and tackle project management and challenges when using Atlassian tools and Elements tools as well. So, the strong integration of um, Jira and Com uh, Confluence. So a few decades ago, uh, two powerful tools have revolutionized project management and team collaboration, Jira and Confluence. Uh, together, they provide a comprehensive solution for planning, tracking, and executing projects uh, really seamlessly. So. Jira is really effective in streamlining project workflows. So you can uh, issue tracking platform. It's an issue tracking platform that excels in helping teams plan, track, and manage also their work. And it's 
particularly well suited for agile and scrum methodologies that can adapt to various uh, project management uh, frameworks. So if we summarize the key uh, features uh, on JIRA, I would say that um, issue uh, tracking, uh, it allows team to create and manage tasks, bugs, user story, and other project uh, related items. Each item is assigned to team member and progress is tracked through customizable uh, workflows. You also have the agile boards. So agile teams can leverage JIRA uh, boards such as Scrum and Kanban to visualize and manage their work in a collaborative uh, manner. These boards promote transparency and flexibility in project management. You also have a high level of customization uh, on JIRA you, that can uh, suit uh, the specific needs of every team, every project, and every company uh, in the world. You can have custom fields, workflow, integration, um, really tailored to match your unique processes, but also thanks to all the app uh, available uh, on the marketplace. And you also have the reporting and dashboard uh, parts. Um, uh, to enable uh, stakeholders to gain insight uh, into project progress, sprint velocity, and uh, team performance. So, if we move on with uh, Confluence and what Confluence is, it's enhancing collaboration and uh, documentation. So, it's really a complement to JIRA, uh, offering a collaborative workspace for teams to create, share, organize, uh, project related documentation and knowledge. In Elements case, we really use it as a, a wiki, like a Wikipedia thing where we can find a bit of everything. So, on the key features that you can find on JIRA that are on Confluence stories that are really interesting, you have the rich content creation. Um, so, it's really user friendly to create and format. And formatting documents, meeting notes, project documentation, and so much more. It's a really powerful tool to support also uh, multimedia content and making it easy to share uh, information with all the stakeholders. You also have the team collaboration that is a really important part in Confluence. Um, it's making it really ideal for brainstorming, making decisions as well, and share knowledge. You have all the key features like uh, comments, mentions, notification to keep everyone in the loop. And the integration uh, with JIRA, so the Confluence is seamlessly integrated with JIRA, allowing you to embed JIRA issues, uh, project boards, and reports uh, directly into Confluence pages. So it really ensures that project documentation stay connected to the works being done also uh, in JIRA. And you have a really powerful module of uh, search and organization. So it's really uh, a strong functionality and a hierarchical, a hierarchical sorry, <laughs> organization that helps uh, users quickly find the information they need uh, for storing productivity and knowledge retention as well. So the synergy of JIRA and Confluence um, for project uh, management, when combined, JIRA and Confluence create a dynamic project management ecosystem that promotes collaboration, transparency, and efficiency. So teams can seamlessly transition between managing tasks in JIRA and documenting project details in Confluence. This integration ensures that project documentation is always up to date and closely linked to the work being executed, fostering a holistic approach to project management. So JIRA and Confluence are really indispensable tools for modern project management. They really empower team to plan, track, execute, and document project effectively. Um, but sometimes, however, the bridge between the two tools is not always obvious and an app from the marketplace can do the magic trick of automating the synchronization of data from JIRA to Confluence. So if I move on with the show parts, so that's a better together uh, 
project uh, management. Uh, so let me introduce you to uh, Robert Reca. He is a project manager at Tellurian, which is a fictional company that we will use for this uh, demo and this use case. So uh, Robert built wants to create a project uh, inside Jira and once his project is approved by his manager, he needs to share instantly information on conference with the stakeholders. So here is a classic uh, issue in Jira software. As you can see, it's an epic um, uh, robot has uh, fulfilled all the important parts of uh, this issue. As you can see, we have so, a description, but also a summary here. We have the assignee, so Roberts, and but for the moment, we don't have any contributors, any start dates or due dates uh, because the project has, hasn't been approved yet. Robert is just finalizing the writing uh, part of this issue. So if we go down a bit further, we can see that he has really write a long description inside of it, and he has linked a child issue related to his project. So as we can see, everything is in the backlog. So we go up again. And so everything seems good to Robert, so he just decided to uh, click on open and send a notification to the approver. So this is Chris Promey here. So Chris Promey will receive a notification to just approve the project. So once the project is now in waiting for approval, we'll switch to uh, Chris. So let me introduce you to Chris. It's, he's the lead project manager at Tellurian and he's in charge of supervising all the projects. And for this uh, use case, he's in charge of approving this one. So everything seems fine to Chris. So he just decided to approve uh, the project. So he just write his name here, Chris. He also put the event dates. So it was on the 29th of September and he just decided to add uh, small comments inside. So, so you can start the project, the budget has been validated. And now when I will click on approved, thanks to a uh, post trigger function, a conference page will be automatically created inside a specific uh, space in conference. So I clicked on approve and if I go down a bit in my uh, Jira issues, I can see here the link to my Confluence page. So, this is uh, Robert again. He has received a notification that Chris approved his new project. So he just wants to check beforehand that the Confluence page is all set up and all information are inside of it. So he will go inside, inside. So he just has to click on the Confluence page and we are going directly into Confluence. So here, here you can see that all the information has been uh, are uh, synchronized. So you can see here, Robert, Chris, the project name, the, so the summary, and here is a comment of approval. If I go down inside this Confluence page, we can see that as in the, in the ticket, we don't have a start date nor a due date, and we have all the information as well. Here we also have, thanks uh, to the compatibility with, uh, of elements published with the Jira macro, all the um, child issue, and it's a dynamic list of issue. I will show you a bit later that magic. So if we go back again inside uh, Jira software, because now Robert wants to start working on it, so we'll just put it in progress here. I just want you to be to know that on the automation that is linked to this in progress and transition, you will have new contributors that are a robust team uh, of developers. You will now have the start date and the due date. So here, and here we are. We now have the link uh, uh, 
teams of robots, so Ryan and Susie, who will contribute to that uh, ticket. Here we have the start date and the due date that were inside the automation. To be sure that everything is synchronized on the Confluence pages, we click on the Confluence link. And with the synchronization between the two of them, we can see that here we have the two contributors, Ryan and Susie. And if we go down, we can see we have the start date, the due date, the new status as well. And as we haven't touched the rest, everything looks the same. Here I go up, just to be sure that everything looks the same. And yes, everything still looks the same. But wait, now Robert is not sure that he will meet his deadline because you, we all know that sometimes meeting our due date and our deadline, it's really tough. So Robert wants to change it and to delay the due date to, let's say, the 6th of October, uh, November, sorry. 6th of November. So here we are. But wait, you forgot to put uh, labels also because labels between Jira and Confluence are the same. So it's easier for stakeholders to uh, find uh, Confluence pages and Jira issues when they are with the same labels. So here we change, we add some of them. And if we go down again, we will say that uh, that issue here will just ch decide to change um, and transition it to select for development because one of the developer will start working on it. So we select it for development, then we just decide to inline edit and to assign, uh, let's say, um, our friend Ryan Reno. And then if we go back to the Confluence pages, we can see that for your stakeholders, the due date has been uh, synchronized and updated. And if we go down, we will see that thanks to the compatibility with the JIRA macro, um, we can see that this issue here has been updated with the information and the assignment of Ryan Reno and is selected for development as well. If we go down again, we can see that the labels here has been updated uh, for all the stakeholders to be sure that they find uh, everything inside Confluence and Jira. And so Chris is really happy and thanks to Elements Publish, uh, Confluence pages are automatically created and synchronized from Jira issues. So, if I have to summarize a bit of all the takeaways uh, that uh, we saw today on this presentation, we can see that Elements Publish can help you uh, really save time by automatically providing a shared document allowing uh, stakeholders with or without access to Jira to follow the project progress in one place in a Confluence pages that can be updated automatically and synchronized. The project manager can really take control of what's being shared because inside the recipe, the, ma the project manager can really customize what he wants to synchronize and put inside the Confluence templates. It's also real-time synchronization for the stakeholders so they can access up-to-date information. And it's really a good, a better integration of Confluence and, and Jira to really take beyond what is natively uh, possible between the two tools. So thank you guys for listening to me. I really think that it was really uh, packed and full of information. Um, do we have any uh, questions? So, give me a section. Don't hesitate uh, to ask question. I won't bite. I promise. <laughs> we 
like hearing the ability of being able to customize what should be synchronized. Um, do you guys want to see how to configure and how I did uh, this magic trick uh, with elements um, publish? I can go inside my recipe. So you're still doing, you're, you're seeing my Jira project, right? Yes, perfect. So I just go inside uh, elements publish. So here it is. This is the how to set up everything. And the magic, as we love cooking, we are French. We have recipes here. So for this demo, I used this one that I created. So it's dynamic list of issues. So basically, I just selected the project where I wanted to find the recipe. So I just put uh, my project that was air cleaner. And I wanted it only possible for the epics, but you can really add any type of issues that you want. And I just decided to put all the statuses and not uh, add. Maybe I can zoom on it a little bit. Yes. Uh, is it better now? <laughs> So then I go to the targets. So I just decide where in Confluence I want to find uh, the new page that will be created. So here I decided that it will be the space called the Air Cleaner Documentation and the parent page will be project feature. Basically here I have all the existing page that, I, that can be linked. Uh, we can make the choice to publish it as a, as a draft to be sure that not all information are live yet, uh, if you want to. And if the page already exists, you can, you have further, um, you have uh, several uh, options here. You can decide to not publish a new page. You can overwrite the new page, so the whole content will be deleted. And you can just decide to append the existing page. That means that you will have all the content and the new content will be added at the end of the page. And you can also pub uh, decide to publish on behalf of uh, someone. Then again, if I go to the content mode, so you can design your own page, but we are also compatible with uh, Confluence templates. So that's what I did here. So here for my page title, I decided to just uh, make the source project and so the source custom field as well. So if I go back here and go back a bit earlier inside my demo, inside the confidence page, where can I see it again? Here, maybe, no, I cannot see it on um, yeah. the, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was um, it was a summary uh, of uh, the page, but you can decide to insert value as well. So I can just decide to put the assignee uh, next to it, for example, and I can decide that it's the parent issue or the source issue as well. So here I decided to create a confluence template. So I choose over all the templates available uh, inside uh, Confluence. So I just decided to uh, modify the project plan template. So I just click on edit templates. So it sent me directly to Confluence. And then inside it, I just have to call uh, the, the macro. So I just slash slash elements uh, publish. And then I just decide what I want to insert inside. So for this one, it was the assignee. So if I go inside this one, it's the assignee, but I can definitely uh, change. And I wanted this value synchronized. So I just have to this little toggle to put in green to be sure that this value is synchronized. As we have seen, not everything was synchronized in the recipe. So for example, the project name was not synchronized. So we wanted the summary to be always the same uh, and not to synchronize it. 
And here, to be able to have the dynamic list of JIRA issue is another um, macro to call. So it's uh, elements dynamic list of issues. So it's this one. And if I go inside this one to, be, to show you really how we set it up. So I just click on edit. And here I just wanted to issue, to display the issue names parents, uh, source issue G. And uh, you can test also the query. So we just wanted, it was uh, air one. So it was this one, if you remember well, and you can test the query to be sure that it display everything. And so here, you will have all the charge issue related to uh, that parent. So here you can really have all the information to see if everything looks good. So we can see the values that are synchronized or not. Uh, you can, can a stakeholder of this on Confluence provide any feedback there and will that info be updated in Jira? So that's the team. So Murali, if I uh, read your question out loud so everyone can hear it, so everyone can hear it. Can a stakeholder of this on Confluence provide any feedback there? Will that information be updated in Jira so that the team members can see that feedback firsthand? So, I'm sorry, Marali, to say no. <laughs> Stakeholders can comment on confluence, obviously. We still have uh, those options, native options. However, um, elements publish is not bi-directional. So the information that you write manually on confluence are not synchronized inside the JIRA issue. Does that answer your question? Perfect. So, if I uh, continue along, we can see that you can copy uh, attachment from the source issue and synchronize the attachment. So, if I go inside my um, my epic and I want to add, I don't know, a PDF or a JPEG or anything, I can just synchronize everything and it will be also displayed inside the um, inside the Confluence page. And here I selected the toggles in green also for the labels to be sure that they are synchronized as well. And as for the trigger, we just decided to put it in the workflow um, as a post trigger, for, as a post function trigger for. So that's really easy to configure and to do all the settings. Do you guys have any more questions? So if I have one more information uh, to provide to you guys, Elements Publish on its own like that uh, is available only for Atlassian uh, clouds, um, Jira clouds. However, you also have that we also have a data center version that is inside the app called Elements Copy and Sync on data center. We decided to split the, uh, the app uh, in free. So Elements Publish Cloud is one app. So you don't have to buy the whole package to have one app. But for those who are on data center, you can still have it. So do you guys have any more questions? Maybe no. So I will just go further and go back to the last slide of uh, this presentation. Thank you for listening to me uh, and for your attention and your questions. I hope that it was really insightful. If you have any uh, more question, don't hesitate to come to our booth. Um, during this JiraCon, uh, the product manager, uh, Thibaut Subra, will really be happy uh, to hear about all your questions and your use cases. Um, 
don't hesitate also to book a meeting with me. Uh, I can uh, show you the demo of all what's possible uh, with uh, Elements Publish, and you can still uh, check out our website, uh, elementsapps.com, and join us on LinkedIn as well. So I guess, thank you. I hope you will all enjoy uh, this wonderful conference, and thank you, Trundle, for having us. Uh,